hello guys welcome so today we're learning how to make this design without further ado let's get started so go to our canva app we'll click on the add icon and then we'll choose a custom size which is 3000 by 3000 the next thing we do is to click on the edge button and then we'll go to our uploads and we're using the picture we're going to use for the design the model I'll make it available for you in the description so you just get it, download it and remove the background. If you're using Canva Pro, you can remove the background using effect on Canva Pro and if you're not, you can just go to erase.bg or remove.bg and get the background removed. So for now, we'll just continue. So now we'll have to align the images and then we'll go get our text. So I'll be typing welcome to February, welcome to, and then adding another text later that says February. So the size, let's try 120, and then we'll be changing the fonts. The fonts we're going to be using is called Holiday, Holiday. Right, I already had it here, but let me search it again and show you guys. Alright, so there's it, I've cycled it that for you, and then we'll be using, just click on it. It's a free font, so anybody will be able to access it. So we'll be increasing the size of that after aligning it and just adjust that and the photos and then we're increasing the size shortly. So let's just make that um February. Welcome to February, right? It's a happy new wind flyer. How to design a happy new wind flyer. You can use it for any time of the month you are in, right? But for now it's February. And I'm doing this on Friday, which is actually on the third of February, but still it's still February, right? Okay, so the font we're using is Montserrat Classic, you know, search for that, Montserrat Classic, make it all caps and then I make it bold. So I just the picture and then I have to increase the February, I just make it 220 and then I arrange that, that's, yeah, that's how I do it. So, uh, after I adjust the picture, so we'll go to our contrast to increase it a little bit, right, just make we want to make the picture to pop, go to our saturation, I think our saturation is better than 5, contrast 24, our blow, we'll reduce the blow so the picture will be sharp, we don't want that to be sharp, so just leave it at that point, and then I'll go to clarity, let's see, ah, it's too much, let's just leave it at 13, okay, let's undo that, we didn't add the shadow, do our shadow. And then the next thing is our vibrance. We increase our vibrance. Uh, and then 39 is good for vibrance. Okay, so the next thing now we're getting our background, right? So all you just do is just click on replace that arrow button there down. And we'll search for white creative background as we have here. And then we'll get it. Okay, so I'll be choosing the one I cycle. So that's the one we're using for this video. So just click on that and there you see it replaces the background. So we just have to adjust these models. I want to make them a little bit bigger. Right? Uh, okay. And then the welcome to using the color, right? Why I like Canva is that it gives you similar colors to the background that are uh, available there. So I will just be choosing the orange, right? So much orange color there. We're using it. Let's increase the size also to 200 guys and 600 so if you want okay i think 200 is good enough so let's proceed the next we'll be adding say rectangle go to element and search for rectangle and see click on that rectangle add a shape just click on it and then you get your shape added to the page and now we have to adjust it just make it a bit wider and then I'm going to change the color. Yeah, that's the color we're using. The first one on the similar colors to the background. And then I'll go to the style. I want the corner. The second option there, the corner rounding. I want it to have the curved edges. So I'll be increasing that to 68. I think 68 will be fine. Okay. And then I have to reduce the transparency a little bit after adjusting it. Okay. So the transparency is 79. We're using 79. And then I'll be adding my text. I'll just duplicate the one I already have there. And then I'll change it to Codec Pro. There's this there. You just search for Codec Pro. Those images of three font, holiday, on shirt, board, and Codec Pro. So I'll just reduce the size of that. I think it's too big. Turn it over big, right? Let's make it 60. Let's try 70, 60. Even 70 is too small. But let's just try what we want to write. Okay. I uh, love this in the air. Okay. No. Let's just start first. Let's say Happy New Month first of all. So Happy New Month. And then you go enter. Okay, you want a paragraph there. 
love is in the air find face mask wear sharp sharp <laughs> right just a funny line you just want to use right okay find face mask wear sharp sharp All right, so the color is going to be black, and uh, I think we'll have to adjust that. Let's reduce the size, size 60. And then I want to make, I want to like, want to uh, reduce, so we have like three lines, and then we even distribute the not one is too long. We get that, and then we increase the transparency. So let's increase it a little bit. I think 88. Yeah, 88 is fine. So the next thing with that is searching for now is 3D love just to make the designs pop out. So 3D love. Alright, so we're using the one I'll be cycling that the one we're going to be using. Let's add it to the page. So we we'll just reduce the size and then I'll just adjust it and place it in. I'll just have to do that very fast. Okay, so I'll just add in the final adjustments and then that's it. Just bring that smaller, bring it down there. So that's it, how to make a simple flyer. Right? Flyers are actually very, very easy to do. And uh, in CDI, we're covering how to make more flyers like this, outstanding, beautiful flyers, how to design from scratch, how to get the ideas and all of that. So you too, you'll be able to make flyers like this without, let's say, Modeling a design like you watch on YouTube, you can create your own. Like, I didn't see this design anyway, I just came up with it. So, how do you get creative to make with your own flyers? We're covering that on CDI. So, I advise you if you want to expand in your design, if you want to advance in designing, you should join us and sign up for the course, right? I've should train um, over a thousand people in graphic design already. So, it's be glad, we're glad to have you as part of my students. And uh, I'll be sharing some testimonials in the description together with a link to sign up. I hope you do. Stay in class. Thank you so much for.